Hello, my name is Colin McDaniel. I am a clarinet and beginning saxophone instructor with REW Music. The best thing about teaching music is honestly almost kind of reliving what I used to do back when I was taking lessons, uh, back when I started in the fifth grade, of having those little aha moments of when you realize that, oh, something that was absolutely difficult and couldn't possibly do last week, suddenly I can do now and even under pressure. When I f fell in love with my instrument, uh, starting off, I was just excited to get in the band. I mean, I originally even wanted to play saxophone, and that's when my band director said, we actually have plenty of saxophones already. Is there something else? And so what started off as sort of a secondary instrument for me, like my second choice, actually ended up becoming what I ended up getting my bachelor's in. I mean, just looking at everything back when uh, you realized that the clarinet came into more prominence as, from moving from a folk instrument to a concert instrument around the time of Mozart. So even by musical standards, it's actually kind of a newcomer, so you don't really run into as many ancient and uh, Baroque period kind of music, but uh, in that nice little classical period and moving on through the Romantic period is when you start seeing those very big expressive kinds of clarinet kind of work, and honestly, I just fell right into that. I loved being able to uh, be able to uh, take, the, uh, take the instrument itself and sort of use it as my own singing voice. When was a great breakthrough for a student? I could actually say for several students, when I introduced, because this was a lesson I learned kind of hard even after my bachelor's, uh, bachelor's degree, was being able to maintain and what actual embouchure was. I had like a kind of, I thought I knew it for a long time, but once I actually learned of how to maintain proper embouchure, having that kind of strength to be able to get past the common break, uh, that once I started teaching that to students, especially at a fifth grade level, which I was well past, uh, I was outside of my undergraduate when this has happened, uh, but to introduce it this soon into, uh, into lessons, I was able to see a clear difference, and even when I asked them, how do you feel, how, uh, does, uh, do things seem to become a little bit more easy for you when we sort of introduce this tool into your, into your uh, toolbox? And they said, yeah, actually, it was a lot better. And when I started hearing more and more students responding to that, I knew I was doing something right. So common pitfalls with uh, the state music this year uh, is going to be that beginning that beginning portion that you probably heard a little bit earlier. They're really going to look for a very vocal kind of quality. Uh, make sure that your breaths are where they're comfortable, but at the same time, you're also looking at that this is more of a singing portion of the piece. Uh, that way you'll look into things like phrasing, at uh, breathing an important spot. Picture it like you're actually singing the actual piece. Uh, and it's going to be a little bit slower than what you're used to, so uh, that brings up more of the lyrical quality, so that just is more important to ensure that you are more so singing the uh, piece as opposed to simply playing it. You're gonna do a lot of uh, movement ab uh, uh, below and above the break, the common break, which is at the, uh, middle, uh, the middle of the staff C. Uh, uh, you will have to have that down. You'll be able to kind of go transfer between the uh, two of them smoothly. That's something that I'm very sure that judges are gonna be looking for between folks that are very comfortable with their instrument, being able to project through there, having the comfortable and strong uh, chops to be able to make that transition better.